Hi there everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, episode 44. This episode was originally streamed live on June 15th, 2024. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the episode. Hey chicken. So out here we have the pumpkin patch in the middle of the desert. That's how pumpkins grow. That's where they like to grow. Um, let's just slap this down probably here so we can keep an eye on it a little better. Um, so let's do something... Actually, let's do it on the other side so we don't bother the chickens as much. I'll do it right here. Alright, so we'll do... Let's see. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight... And then we'll do one, two, three, one, two, three. Oops, not you. No, nope, not you. Stop it. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just we'll leave this here and then we'll dig it up later when we're all done with this. One, two, three. There we go. And then center will be nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Alright, so that. Make sure we do all the water first before we hoe it. Apparently. And then we'll need to fence this in. So I'm going to just surround it with, like, sand, I guess. And then burning soil, yeah. <laughs> well, I would do a fruit tree in the middle, but these are not our permanent farms. And I want to save our permanent farms for our big eventual build here. Uh, so, yeah, let's get some sand, ring it with sand. Maybe even gravel. Let's do gravel. Gravel will look better. And, let's see, I do have the seeds on me. Yeah, we're good there. We'll take the hose, though. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> let's just hoe this first. Word drives me nuts. I did make a fractal sponge. <laughs> it's a very weird... Like, the other animations are kind of quick. This one's like very weird and slow. It's just like up and down. I feel like it should be more like a like a push out and then pull towards you animation. I think it kind of used to be a little more like that, where you just sort of like put your hoe down, and then you see that sort of furrow that you can't see here because it's like too smoky to see. But if I get to the side here, watch the ground here. It does like a furrow from the direction that you start, like toward and it goes towards you whenever you hoe or till the till the soil. Yeah, the particles are nice. It's, it's good to find it, but I, I find them a little excessive. Like, if they had, like, maybe a quarter of their intensity, it would be fine for finding them, and it wouldn't be as annoying in general. Let's get some of this down real quick. Yeah, this is like a temporary farm for, like, one or two years. That's all. Just one or two years, you know, as one does. I'm going to put a gate there, I think, and probably on the other side in the, about the same spot. Uh, maybe, like, right here at the corner. Do a double gate here. And chuck some sticks in here. And then swap these. make four gates. So one there, one set there, and then the rest of this will just be fences. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I could have probably pushed this in a little bit, one block, but it still wouldn't quite meet up against the fence here. 
Hello there, Patrick Acock. Welcome to the stream today. We are building a temporary farm right now. Because we need to really push flax production. Uh, we have about... Uh, probably three or four months to do some serious flax before it goes back to super hot summer and no flax for us. Or half as much flax for us. And given that we just got some iron today... And we would like to not spend our entire lives smithing by hand. It's a bit of a problem. So we'll pop our bucket down here. And you know what? I'm thinking. I wasn't I wasn't going to today. It wasn't sort of on the agenda. But since we're through most of what I wanted to do today. Um, the, the stretch goal was I wanted to start maybe on the build uh, for where our Hellhammer's going to go. But I think it might be better to spend some time exploring. Uh, maybe we'll head down south here and kind of uncover some of this map. Or even better, we can go through here and explore around this map here. Uh, we need to find some more traders. And I would also like to find uh, some more flax, so we can maybe even get some more seeds to have another set of fields going. Because uh, we only have four more seeds on us. So we'll do that. We'll drop these here. Uh, I'm going to leave the planks here as well. We have the extra shovel. I am going to... Let's see, we, we have flint for a hoe, so we'll start with that. And... We have some food. It is high reactivity, so we're going to eat and then sleep right away, which I did not realize before I ate. And I'll probably bring the... I'll bring our new journal with us, our new notebook with us, uh, so that we can um, take notes about things that we find. I mean, granted, we can always put them on the map, but things that aren't as easily mappable we can put on here. Like, like if we say... Hey, we found flax, but it's like, you know, really young. We could mark it down. Right, so we'll do that. Inventory is kind of full, uh, but we do have our backpack. Our backpack being the carry-on mod. So yeah, I think let's go exploring for a little bit. That, I think, is something we haven't done in a while. Um, let's see. Everybody in chat right now, uh, put either south, which will be done here, or... TL or through the translocator. And you got about a, a minute or two before we really, really have to make a decision. Uh, but yeah, I think we're good on equipment. I'm going to check off here. We did some smithing here. South to the TL. That is not very useful, Oak Tree. <laughs> but okay, so it's TL, South, TL. Uh, oh, we're actually pretty, uh, uh, pretty even here. So we got. One of each, two of each, three of each. South, 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 south. TL, 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 TL. So we're even. South, south, south. TL, TL, TL. South, south. I think south is winning so far by like three. Coin flip. <laughs> TL, TL. Okay, so they're about even now. Okay. <laughs> Cue up last train home. <laughs> All right. So it looks like people are. It's it's really mixed. Okay. So uh, let's do. Uh, I'm, I like the idea of let's walk south and then we'll take the TL home. How's that sound? I will first need to mark this TL as pinned. I can grab it. There we go. Pin you. All right. So we're going to head in this direction. Let's go. Let's balloon the size of our backup files. Hello. I. You know what? I think uh, taking out some of these guys along the way is worth it. Yep. 
Yeah. Because we are in the market for some leather, so absolutely. If the meat spoils, I am not super concerned. You know, I'm going to leave the bones. I do not need bones at all. They're a waste of space right now. Ow. Got him. After he got me, but that's okay. Alright. Got a little bit of fat, too. Excellent. Looks like Girish Manjanath is off for the night. Thank you for coming. Hope to see you next time. And by the way, folks, just so you are all aware, uh, next stream, in fact, the next couple streams, I believe, are going to be on Sundays. So just be aware of that. Doesn't know I'm here. Oh, got two for one there. None too shabby. Oh, one over his head. So three shots with this guy. I will say, as much as I don't generally like the bullseye mod, it does make long range targeting a lot more reliable. Like a lot more liable. As long as I don't do what I did here and chuck it over his head. Decent weight. Alright. Decent. Alright, let's get out of here. Keep it on going south. Uh, keep an eye out for primarily probably looking for, well, once we're out of the desert, we will look for um, flax growing places. And we'll see if we can hoe the soil underneath it to get the full drops. I'm going to leave the hyenas. They're just so plentiful. I don't see a need to uh, bother them. What's down here? We have cracked granite. We have a crevice and a crevice. This crevice goes and goes and goes. Ooh. And it goes. And that's about as far as we're going today. <laughs> that's more than I want to uh, commit to right now. But this could be cool for exploration later, so I'll mark it. Giant caves? Question mark. And we'll do you and gold. There we go. All right, continuing on our journey south now. Kura's is ADHD. <laughs> I, th I think it. I think ADHD. Like to the, the true form of it would be um, catching butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got some there that's still growing. I spy one here, two here that are mature. Alright. There we go. Boop. And, you know, since I do want the seeds more than anything, I am going to just grab these rather than trying to let them grow here. The seeds will let us build a new... Oh, I hear growlies underground. This will let us build another uh, set of farms here. I will stop once we have 60 of them, though. That's a pretty good number. Yeah, we could have brought some gears, too, in case we find some uh, traders, but... Some more space. Olive tree? No, I'm good. We have deer ear over here. Reishi, okay. We have hyenas over here, too. Bye, guys. I think they hear an underground waterfall, too. Just some nice exploring. It has actually been a while since we've done any exploring, so this should be good. Love this mountain range. 
Oh, that'd be great for building up there. <gasps> we have traders, guys. Yeah, we should have brought that, uh, that stuff. The gears. Uh, we do have some quartz. So I'm going to take a real quick tap here. And actually two taps. We'll do a density search and then a localized one. We'll have a windmill after this trip. I wish. Hematite, native copper, and bismuth, but not a ton of any of that. All right. Let's see what we got here as far as uh, inclusions in the quartz go. Just quartz, okay. Let's see, we do have some amaranth that I really don't care about. I'll try again over here with the quartz as well. Can I get up there? There we go. Uh, just quartz again, okay. And looks like the Brazilian with internet access is back. Hello, thank you for coming to the stream again. Let's see, anything growing down below that I care about? Oh, we've got some flax. Got a couple patches of flax that I missed here. So we got some growing here. Got this guy, got this guy. And then what's over this way? We have some mature, but we can't till the soil, unfortunately. So, shame. Amaranth is not on my list. Yeah, our knife would be nice. Uh, I didn't think of that. I don't usually, like, I take a while to graduate from stone knives to anything better. <laughs> It's just a thing that I do. Oh, hello. Uh, we have two pieces of high fertility soil. <laughs> two. <laughs> I think I hear a distant sound of bees, too. Uh, so I guess... I guess we'll take them. One. Two. <laughs> Wonderful. Yep, here are bees right here. There they are. Nifty. This is a nice landscape, though. I do like it. You know someone who only uses the obsidian knives with bone handles? That's definitely a thing. I, they're nice. They got uh, good durability. They're not, I mean, the fastest knives, but they're they're pretty decent for what they are. Now that thar, that's trouble. I do see some more flax there, and I think some. Yeah, unfortunately, we still can't till it because it's all sand. <laughs> oh, we got we can do one. We can till one of these. There we go. I'll take it. The yeah, flax is sort of blue color is really easy to spot in brighter or even duller grass. Looks like it's all for here. Got the nice, peaceful day is winding down music. Which will keep playing even once we accidentally aggro one of these uh, hyenas here. Like, yeah, nice and peaceful. Keep running, guys. Uh, flax, yes. Soybeans, not so much. Let's see. Do my patented jump everywhere to see over the grass. <laughs> yeah, sunflowers. Uh, I don't, I don't grow them here. They're not very like they're they're actually productive. They're they're quite productive, in fact, uh, but they're not useful for us today. Okay, we're doing okay on seeds and on additional flax.
some more soybeans over there. Then they are mature, but I'm not super concerned about them. What have we here? Hello. Sure. Die. Okay. That was boring. You know, we will do those. We'll take a tippy tap right here. Not node search. Density search. Keep building up our uh, library of where ores are. You get most of your flax from playing drifters. That is that is a definite. Uh, that's a vibe. That's also a very slow way of getting flax. <laughs> you can also get flax uh, by panning bony soil. And there was there was a time when uh, oh my goodness when bony soil was very early on, and we didn't know what to do with it. Um, and I was playing with some friends. We finally discovered that you can you can in fact um, pan it. Um, it's spelt there. Not super interested in that. Um, and so we had saved up like three or four stacks of it, and we ended up panning all of it one winter. And we got we got actually a lot of flax from that. That was like. A serious amount of flax. None of this is mature, Sag. Oops. Okay. I am spying some... Uh, I'm seeing soybeans here that are actually, you know, enough of them to be worth it. So let's go ahead and we'll till this soil and this one. And that one. I will harvest these three, but I'm not going to bother with the other ones. Eighteen soybeans? Yeah, that's worth it. It's worth the distraction. Um, oh, we got some flax here. Nice. And it's gone. Gone with the wind. I forgot to go to those traders. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just realized that. I'm sure, I, I haven't looked at the chat, so I'm sure somebody has been screaming at me. You forgot the traders! Okay, there we go. I'm going to start chucking some things I don't want. I don't want the soybean seeds. I don't want, uh, I do want the flax grain. That's handy chicken feed right there. How far away are we from those traders? Uh, yeah, we could loop back. We could we could sprint back there. Let's do it. I want to go see where they are. I think that's worth it. Ow. It's even worth the ankles. It's worth losing ankle flesh for. And since we're running up this way, we could even uncover... Other new interesting things. Oh my. See you guys. Definitely entering hyena territory here. Save file expansion, indeed. Yeah, we were up to about 350 megabytes uh, before today. Olive tree. It doesn't really get, get chunky until about like uh, two and a half gigabytes. Then it gets chunky kind of no matter what you do. Just run up this way. I do see some, some speckles that could indicate um, more crops than they probably do. There's some right there. What are you? Quartz in slate. Which is a wonderful appearance, by the way. That could be something that, that could be fun to make some flooring with. That could be fun. See, we have something here. Hey, look at that. We'll get you. We'll get you. We 
So it looks like these uh, these little speckles here are indeed crops. Oh, we have onions. Oh, yes. I'm taking the onion seeds with me. Um, yeah, I don't care about the onion itself, frankly. <laughs> um, yes, that is worth it. What's up here? Soybeans are here. Looks like there's something else speckly over here. What do we got? More onions. Yes. This is a nice crop haul right here, I'll say. We have more soybeans, not interested. See some speckles down here that I missed earlier. And yes, I I will go to the uh <laughs> I will go visit our trader friends, don't you worry. Onions come first. Oop, that was weird. It suddenly faced me north. Ah, to point me back at the traders, that's why. Okay, the other block game, those saves can get massive. Hello. I just want to see your uh, your stuff. So you are a building materials freighter? Okay. Got a lot of those. What are you? Survival goods. A lot of you guys, too. I'm wondering if, if these freighter camps are kind of like only, only pulling from a limited pool of options. I'm not liking the options very much. <laughs> what do we have here? More flax. These are all baby flax. See, we are up to 46 flax. Okay. None too shabby. Oh, we got cassava. Don't care about you so much. What's in the grass here? More onions. Wow. All right. Some good winter crops for us. You know what I will do is I will drop the bowl here. I'll eat these three onions. It's free food, why not? Fill our bowl, and there we go. Some more crops over here. Ah, soybeans. Okay. Alright, so it is still low activity. I think let's make it morning so that we can see where we're going. And then we'll continue on our way here. Your biggest so far is a 17 gigabyte save file it's on a dedicated vintage story drive on an M2. That's probably the way to go. Uh, this this computer does have M2s. Um, they're uh, they're both uh, pretty speedy Gen 4 drives, or Gen 3 drives, I think. Um, so even even the 350 takes about like a half a second to back up. Oh my goodness! No, thank you. <laughs> Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. That's us. Hi, I'm Jack. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, but okay. <laughs> no, I'm good. Later, Papa Roo. Do I spy? Yes, I do. Oh, come on. There we go. Automatically mark that one. We have here another olive tree. There's just that sort of like little pattern. Like, oh look, there's a circle in the dirt. That's got to be what I think it is. Ah, oh, we can't add this one automatically. Okay, red clay. And there we go. All right. Mist, thank you so much for the support. You, left, you sent me a banana. <laughs> Is this another one? No, it is not. Okay. Bork, bork, bork. Hello? Did the drop. But thank you for the banana mist. <laughs> How do you know what I needed? Just needed that banana. Alright, we don't want to drop down that peninsula. 
Oh, we can go through some jungle. Some jungle. Uh, yeah, not, not that peninsula. Go around it, Corazar. Oops. I wanted to look down that hole, not fall down it. But oh well. Yep, they do uh, pretty good god rays in this game. You're asking about uh, the light through the trees. Yeah, this is all. This is all no no graphics mods or anything. Every now and then I try the volumetric lighting mod again, which I used to love. It used to really make the game really pop. Um, but I've started seeing issues where it gets like it creates these um, like striations. Um. Not sure what the proper word is. Also, I'm seeing my frame rate on OBS is getting kind of low, and I don't know why. Are you guys, is it being kind of chopper for you guys, or is it okay? Like, I'm seeing, like, real choppy frame rate on OBS. It's a bit framey. Okay. That might be a... It's choppy. Okay. That might be a consequence of me having to tell Windows to stop uh, doing any um, like power throttling. That might be thermal throttling now. Which I also am using another program to stop thermal throttling, so I don't know what the solution is going to be. Corazette and I are um, preparing for having me move my office down to a different room, um, which might, I can't automatically mark that one either, apparently, okay, which might mean that I might have to, well, not, not have to, but could end up playing on desktop again. And that, that would alleviate most of these problems, especially the overheating one. My fingers are literally burning up right now. <laughs> okay, so that was cool. How close are we? Oh, we're about halfway there. Not too shabby. Are those ruins? I see. They are ruins. The framiness went away. Yeah, it's, it, it might go in and out a little bit, is my guess. Um, once the thermal throttle brings things down to a better temperature, it'll get smoother, and then probably once it goes thermal, then uh, then it just gets jaggy again. Uh, yeah, the thermal paste. <laughs> this computer, I have done surgery on this computer like crazy. Uh, I've actually, I've actually uh, dropped about 5 degrees Celsius. I redid the thermal paste, redid the thermal pads, um, with like better stuff than the stock uh, thermal stuff. Um, it took some trial and error, most of the error. Uh, it turned out that the thermal pads they were using were not all the same size, same thickness. I'm not really gonna dig through these. These are like the basic ruins, and I am more interested in getting down to hello, down to the TL. We are getting into the end of the stream here soon. Time to get clay me dirt. The, the, the Centralia dirt. There we go. Got a bit more here. Not a bad find. Might have to actually get our backpack off here in a second. Hey, shovel's gone. All right. I'm not sure why I celebrate losing losing a shovel like that, but I do <laughs> every now and then. I wonder if the choppiness was from being in the woods and throttling. Oh, we got corn flour. Yeah, I think I saw some earlier. Oh, it was in the uh, the traders, 
uh, place. Oop, bye knife. I will take the corn flour. We can actually grow this now um, with the uh, the mods we have. We can split them into seeds and grow them in farm plots and get more. They would have a nice source of blue, blue like decoration as well as a potentially blue dial. I'd prefer to just use woad for that. Which hey, look at woad, woad dude. All right, we're gonna put you down. And let's tuck some things in here. We got a full stack of this that can go in there. Um, let's put you in there. Six large raw hides. We'll hang on to those. Like a stack of you. Most of a stack of you. That should do for now. I might actually just grab this over here. We can bring it home and then, uh, Propagate it. I've also been on the lookout for and I found one, but I'm not sure it's quite the right one that I want. Looking for a mod that will let me uh, make banners, because they are amazing. Yes. Oh, four seeds? You bet. You bet your britches. Alright, let's till some of this. Let's till some of this. And let's smack this down. Get the flowers right in our face. And we have a a few more over here. What are you? Are you carrots? You're carrots. Bye carrots. We'll go over to that trader here in a second. Hello, lonesome trader out here. I hope you are of a type that I have not yet found. Got lupins up there. Hello. Ooh, treasure hunter trader. Yes. Oh, yes. What do you got to trade, Ephraim? You are selling farming and ore vessels. Now, those we were only able to sell for seven gears up at home, so not stupendously exciting. But we can sell linen sacks that I never will because uh, they're expensive for us. Backpacks are a possibility, though. Okay. Got a bronze shovel. <laughs> All right. Good to know, though. He does buy cooked meat. Oh, let's see. We got some more here. How are we on seeds? So five more seeds will be good on seeds. And ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Yeah, I thought I saw some more out there. No, you're spelt. Don't care about spelt too much. You're not spelt, though. Alright, yes. Let's do some of this guy. Come on, there we go. Oh, we have enough seeds now, okay, so. I will leave the rest. Any further, oh, hello hyena. Any further flax we find, I will just bother with the mature stuff. Oh, we've got claystone here. Let's take a quick tippy tap. Oh, there's some more flax. It's mature flax. Sure. Weird, but I'll take it. Uh, let's see, let's... Oh, let's fall in, apparently. Sure. Just sneak down here. I do have a lot of meat, but uh, I don't have time to cook it right now. Nothing here. Some silver, but not what I need. I'm just going to pillar out of here. All right. That's more flex. Oh, we got some mature over here, looks like. Yeah, there we go. Do 
You can tell when Kurzar is getting desperate for flax. He starts adventuring and finding it out in the wild. <laughs> That's the telltale sign. What is that? What in the heck is that? In, in fact, in all of the hex. What, is, what in all of the hex is that out there? Hello, little guy. Eh, I got some red clay here. I'll mark it. Why not? You know, it's visible. I don't care. Uh, let's see. Get you. I think we found next episode of Adventure, guys. Whoop. Oh, jump over that. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. <laughs> what? How many bells are lurking in here, I wonder? You know, I, I don't wonder. I really don't. I don't wonder. I'm not sure I want to know. I can hear that. bells or any more drifters? None there. Yet. Wow. There's the entrance. Anything around this way? Uh, no, I think it's a one entrance unless there's a postern gate down here. This wouldn't be postern. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a not today thing, but wow, look at this thing. Just poke her head in here real briefly. The moment I spy a drifter, though, or anything, we're gone. <sighs> we're gone. That was a corrupt locust of some sort. Oh, and there's a, yeah, there's a drifter. Oh, my goodness. Yep. That's going to be for later. Whew. That's for later, that's for sure. What a gorgeous build that is. I can't wait to tear it down. Turn it into bricks. Turn it to cobblestones. <laughs> yeah, jump scares are real in this. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna just poke my head in here. All of a sudden, the swarm of like death. I'm like, nope, no, I'm good. See, yeah, we're almost there. We have another trader down here. We'll head toward them. But we are coming up to the end of the stream here soon, so we're going to hit the trader, see who they are, and then we'll head back home through our translocator and call the episode there. This has been quite the adventure, though. I'm glad we went on it. Ah, it's a full-on camp. Good. Although I'm, I'm beginning to see a pattern of what traders are in these camps, and I, I wish it was a little bit uh, like less predictable. Hello. Oh. Well, this is not predictable. Luxuries. What do you got for me, Marco? Nothing that I want at the moment, but different colored glass. That will be something I'm thinking about for later. Of course, we can make that right now. Well, not right now, but with the mods we have on, we can make the glass. Do you have any friends living with you? Or are you by here? Oh, you're lonesome out here. Nothing there. Oh, we got somebody in here. Agriculture. Hello, hello. And you would buy our tin bronze hoe that we don't have on us now. Okay, good to know. This is pretty close to our uh, exit, too. I mean, not super close, but there it is. So, none too shabby. Quartz, 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 quartz. Draw market. Alright, it is time for us to beeline for our translocator. Game Makers Guild is here. Hello, hello. I think you're a new face, I'm pretty sure. Uh oh. Indy, looks like uh, something you're saying is has Nightbot and a bit of a tizzy. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Mark that quartz as well. Well, that is some deep water. We're, we're gonna we're gonna stay up here. <laughs> we're 
we're just going to hang out on the surface. Yep, 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 where it's nice and safe. Ooh, something is nailing at my foot. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, like hurrying somewhere. I'm taking this bouquet of flowers to, to my wife. <laughs> we gotta hurry. I forgot it's Mother's Day. Oh no, run, run. Swim, swim. You used a bum bum word. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, Nightbot is a little more uptight than I generally like. Hello. Mark you. Oh, we haven't checked on our uh, resin in a little while, have we? Mark you as well. One more over here. It's been a few days. We, we did go and check it out, I think, last stream. It's been, a, it's been at least a few days. We had the chores stream in between. So I do wonder how it's doing. But that will not be for today. This is really out here, isn't it? Much longer jog than I was expecting it to be. So there, William Allen. The castle has some nice stuff in it. Yeah, I, I expect so. The uh, the first big uh, ruin we found above ground certainly had some. There's actually one below ground. Oh, we got some brown clay here. I might as well mark you. Don't see a whole lot of this. It's hard to spot sometimes. Um, but yeah, there's actually a ruin below ground, I think under here. That we have not been to yet. Uh, we saw there's like a pair of like moldy doors and we noped out. All right, here we are. In we go. Boop. All right. And we are just about home sweet home. Well, we have quite the haul here. Um, I'll probably put things away after the episode, um, just to, uh, get that done, uh, and then I'll do the backup. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and our virus has grown, too. Still thinking about that mod where we can make paper from it. In fact, I'm thinking I'll go do that after the stream as well. Just update that, and I'll update the, uh, mod list. Uh, no, we haven't found breadfruit yet, sadly. I don't think... We, we have to go, like, maybe 15 more kilometers south to find that. Well, everyone, what a day it's been. We've made it into the earliest parts of the Iron Age, and we got a few iron tools. Uh, most of them are all hanging up right now, though. Uh, we got some cool treasure, and yeah, we know where more iron is, too. We have a ton of iron left down there. Um, we already have enough for probably several stacks of iron ingots, but we are well on our way to some progression. I think we're we're gonna we're gonna to focus on getting more flax. We got uh, two and a half stacks of flax. We have one stack in our basket on our backs. So that's a really good haul. That might be worth that might make it worth actually going on another adventure and expanding our map a little bit more to find some of this stuff. Um, and then also, you know, finding more ruins along the way, um, getting leather collections, that kind of thing. But yeah, that was a really successful stream, I think. So I'm looking forward to the next one. Uh, next stream or two will be on Sundays rather than Saturdays uh, because of Corazette's schedule. Um, but that's about all the news I have for you. So for now, my name has been Corazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.